Hi everyone, Matt here from MRKWP. Today, I'm gonna to tell you some of the wonderful tips I have for when your customer says to you, hello, I want 24 seven support on that WordPress website you just built for me. How do you answer it? How do you deal with your customer asking for that kind of request? Well, I'm gonna tell you in this video. Let's jump into it. So let's think about this for a second. You've built a website and most of our clients are used to 24 seven support. They have a mobile phone contract or they have a hosting contract and they have 24 seven support or what they think is 24 seven support anyway. Generally that means they can reach out to somebody. Now I know for myself, if my power goes out, do I really have 24 seven support? When it happens, I just have to wait and see what happens, right? So the utility bill that I pay for electricity, I just have to wait. For things like my car, if my car breaks down, I've just got to wait till the mechanic gets to it. We think we have 24 seven support, but in many cases in normal things in life, we don't. And it doesn't have to be any different with a WordPress website. All right, so let's think about this for one moment. What I like to do is really think, okay, my client said to me, I want 24 seven support. What do they really mean here? What, what, what do they need support for? And there's really three things that you can think of around a WordPress website that need support. The first one is the hosting. The second is the code itself that makes up the WordPress website. And the third one is changes to the website. So you've got hosting, the plugin and the code, and of course, changes to the website. So let's go through each of those one at a time so we can understand how you can deal with that for your client. So the client wants 24 seven support for hosting. What do you do? Well, you direct them to a premium WordPress host. So on like WP Engine, Kinsta, SiteGround, and a lot of these guys have what we call enterprise support. And that's when you go up from the normal support contract that you have, like with a Bluehost, HostGator, WP Engine, all these lower price hosting, and they go up to the next level for enterprise support. Recently, GoDaddy purchased Pagely, a large hosting provider specifically for their higher level support stuff. And most of the time, people pay a premium for these services. If you're with WP Engine or Pagely, Pantheon, some of these top host providers, you could be spending thousands of dollars a month for your enterprise support that you want. Enterprise meaning 24 seven with someone you can reach that's gonna be onto that task, looking at it and resolving it within a couple of hours for you. If you have any of these other cheap things, it's really, yes, we're aware of the problem. We've received your ticket and responded to say we're aware of it and somebody's working on it as soon as possible. That's not enterprise support, okay? So just so we're aware. And really, if somebody needs support for WordPress hosting and that hosting, make sure your client is referred to a premium host. The second item, of course, is the code itself, plugin updates. And this is really where the hardest thing for WordPress comes in. No theme provider that I'm aware of provides enterprise support. You know, my favorite theme, Bloxy, some of my other favorites like Cadence and Astra, they don't provide enterprise support. Meaning if something in that theme update breaks your client website, that's it. You just gotta wait, you gotta get a developer to look at it. If you raise it with Astra or Bloxy, they're likely not even gonna deliver a package for you. I've seen this before when I had a Divi builder update a number of years ago. There was some sort of glitch in the packaging of the update. I reported it, they did get back to me within a few hours, but there was no version change. So everybody that had updated to that, I had to force the plugin to update again. It was hard, hard to deal with. So remember, when you're looking at your plugins and themes, don't update live sites, use your backups, and that really comes back to the premium host, doesn't it? Make sure you're using one. Finally, we've got the area of website changes, and these are not support requests as such, they're change requests, okay? And that is when you need to explain to a client, look, if you need to update your website, we can provide you with a little bit of training at an additional cost, you can make sure you've got staff on site to do this 24 seven, or you're asking me to do that 24 seven. Finally, you can refer to somebody. You can go to a GoWP or a Buffly or something like that. Some of these, um, I think it's WP Buffs um, is the other one. Yeah, GoWP or WP Buffs. These kinds of companies will um, provide a care package that can go on top of the website with requests included. But again, 
these fees end up being hundreds of dollars a month. So with an enterprise support hosting agreement, with all licensing for your premium themes and plugins done specifically for the site, and on top of that, one of these other care packages, your client would be expected to be paying thousands of dollars a month to have enterprise 24 seven support. And if they're still insisting, no, you need to provide it, the final thing you do is provide a quote. And what are you providing a quote for? First of all, do not think that you yourself can be on call all the time. You can't, it's not right. You don't wanna always be going out worried, like, hey, I'm at a restaurant, I've sat down for a meal with my family, and if that phone rings, I've gotta jump up, go and grab the laptop out of my car and start solving a problem for a client. You don't wanna be in that position. Okay, so if you're doing a quote and you really want to have a business that does that, make that your model, you've got to think about, you know, you need multiple staff, you need to follow the sun, that means that you have three eight-hour shifts of people getting your 24 hours a day, seven days a week, meaning every single one of those people can't be working seven days a week, so they all need a backup, and then that backup needs a backup, they all need a manager, that manager needs a manager, before you know it, you're in the millions of dollars, multiple sites, all this kind of stuff in terms of work sites to deal with that enterprise support. So if you do get that request, just remember, you don't have to say yes. It is not normal for um, somebody to expect that when you build a website for them that they have 24 seven support. And when you understand that yes, you can have these things, you just have to spend the money on them. You'll quite often find that your client's urgent request is no longer that urgent when they realize what they're asking for. They'll get a premium host, a WP engine, all the like, who gives them an uptime SLA, a service level agreement um, item, where they're saying, hey, we commit to this level of service to you for this price. And they'll go, hey, that's good enough for my business. And then you end up covering it that way. So look, I hope that's helped you. And I hope this really helps everybody out there who gets that request as a WordPress freelancer. All right, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you've got anything about you know those types of questions you get asked where you want that advice from myself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.